Hello and welcome to another close communication call with Dr. Harper. Today we're going to talk about happiness. Did you know that optimists live longer and happier lives? Did you know that outward conditions such as wealth, education, social status, hobbies, sex, age, ethnicity, etc. have only circumstantial influence and account for no more than 10 to 15 percent of satisfaction scores? Actually, general surveys about happiness indicate that the sense of happiness is higher in countries that ensure their inhabitants basic resources greater security, autonomy and freedom, as well as sufficient educational opportunities and access to information. It's also greater among those who have paying work. The death rate and incidences of illness, depression, suicide and alcoholism are notably higher among the unemployed. Housewives are no more or less satisfied than professionals. We also seem to have a genetic predisposition toward happiness or unhappiness. About 25% of our potential for happiness is determined by our genes. Now remember, our genes act as a blueprint that can be applied or ignored depending on the circumstances. You should also know that happiness is more pronounced in highly energetic people in good physical condition. And also, Happiness is linked to emotional intelligence, not the sort measured by IQ tests. Finally, I want you to know that we exert considerable influence on our experience of happiness and unhappiness through the way we live and think, how we perceive life's events, and how we react to them. Happiness rises with social involvement and participation in volunteer organizations, the practice of sports or music, and membership in leisure clubs. Happiness is closely tied to the maintenance and quality of private relationships. Married people are, generally speaking, significantly happier than singles, widows, and widowers, or the divorced or separated living alone. Finally, leisure activities enhance satisfaction. Watching television only leads to a minimal increase in the feeling of well-being. Knowing these things about happiness, we can direct our thoughts, our behavior, and our communication with others in the direction of the emotion we most like to have. should be happy that's what i said from the start i am so happy knowing you are the one that i want for the rest of my days